I think video today with time a check name. The hook I've already placed in the vice is a TM code two four eight seven. This is a standard wire hook and it works fine for check names with this continuous band and I like this pretty much. To add some weight to the fly, I have to use some sticky back lead foil that I've already cut in a one to two millimeter stri strip and then starting at the band I'll just bring up touching turns with the foil coming up to one eye length shorter than the eye and then we can just break off the tags now we'll come up with a second layer and this one will start two turns up from the last one let's just bring it up make three turns then you can let go of the end and then when we come up to about there we can just break it off and break off the piece at the back and with your nail you can even out all the little bumps in the lead making for a nice underbody the thread I will use is 8 out uni in tan but you can use any color or any thread that you like so we'll start by putting down just a layer of thread starting at the eye securing the lead a little then cut off the rest piece some turns to secure and now we'll tie in the first material this is some nylon thread this is a 0 0.15 millimeters and I like this to be thin for two reasons the first one is to not build up the body because we want to keep this as slim as possible and then also it will sink down in the shell back of the fly making for some nice segments so just tighten the length of the body and now we'll tighten the material for the back and for this I use a body stretch and this one is nice because it's really really thin and as I said before we want to keep this as slim as possible so this one is nice for that so just tie it down to where we left the nylon and then making sure that it will fold over nicely just one turn more this should be fine now we can look how it will set and this seems okay and now on our way up we will tie in the under rib and for this one I use some unifrench oval in gold And this material has some facets so it will reflect the light very nicely so just tighten at the back and bring up your thread securing the color of the body can vary uh, from green to brown or some tan or cream color 
but for this one I will go with green and for this I mixed some rabbit fur in this nice pale green color with some SLF masterclass in also a light green creamy color and I just mixed it pulling the fibers apart and when you do this you don't want to tear the fibers but just pull them between your fingers mixing it so they will have a nice little blend of SLF which will give some sparkle and the natural rabbit fur which will look like some legs or some gills of the caddis fly so just make a thin dummy noodle and now we want to keep this as thin as possible making building up just a little body we don't have to build it up because we have already done that with the um, lead form so just bring up your dubbing to the point when it's aligned with the point of the hook so there we have the body now we can tie in a hot spot this isn't needed but I like to do it. So for this one I use some bright orange also from the SLF masterclass and you just want a tiny tiny bit of this and just one turn to one turn and a half just to add this little little hot spot in the middle. Then the last material for the body is some dubbing for the thorax and for this I use some just some natural hairs mask and the more guard hairs you have the better it is. So just build up the, the thorax, tapering it down to the eye of the hook. And now just a half inch to make sure that the bread will stay in place. And now we can spiral up the under rib. Just making open spirals up the fly through the body making sure that it is where we want it and then through the thorax as well And then when we reach the eye, tie it off. And now you can really pull on the thread to secure it well. You don't want this to slip out and unravel. So mess up your whole fly. And now I just throw in another half inch. So the thread won't 
comment down. Now bring up the back of the fly, fold it over, and making sure that it stays in the center. Just tie it off at the eye. And here you can also put a lot of string on your thread. You don't want this to slip out. And now just pull on your back and cut it off. Add a few more turns to tidy up the head, and then another half inch. So there we have the back, and now we'll bring up our last ribbon. And now we want this to lay in between the under rib. Making an open spiral, defining the segments of the fly. And then I'm going to come up to the eye, tie it off, put a 90 degree bend to it, and keeping tension on your thread. Tie it down with some nice turns, building up a little head. And then you can risk cutting it off. And then the last thing is to whip finish. Finishing off the head and securing it in four turns. Pull tight and cut off. Now the tying is done. And I like to secure the head with some super glue. This will sink down in the thread wraps making it a nice little head and you'll never have to worry of it coming undone there we go and now we have to color the back and i just use a permanent marker this one is brown, wiping off the excess so that the under rib shows through. And here you can be as artistic as you like. And then um, I just use a black one to color the thorax area and the head and it will just blend in with the rest of the back and the naturals also have a little darker head or darker thorax area than the body and then just some Gray to be able to wipe it off a little, and then we can pick out some of the horse mask 
to represent some legs in front. And here, the more guard here, you have the better it is. And there's a check name. 